Hello, I'm Nigel Cooper from DV User Magazine, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Contour Design Shuttle Pro version 2. The Shuttle Pro is a clever little device that's been designed to speed up your post production workflow and make your editing easier and much more intuitive. It works on both Mac and PC and with all popular editing applications including Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, Avid and many more. But the Shuttle Pro can also be used for many other applications including audio editing, desktop publishing and even gaming, medical applications and CCTV control. So what exactly is the Shuttle Pro? It's basically been designed to speed up your editing and make it much faster and much more intuitive. It allows you to basically have all your favourite keyboard shortcuts at your fingertips via the 15 totally customisable buttons. And it also has a jog shuttle dial. The Shuttle Pro version 2 retails at just under £100 sterling plus VAT. But given the amount of time that you will save during your post-production and editing workflow, this will soon become a very worthwhile investment. I recently worked out that to do even a basic edit, such as inserting a marker using the mouse instead of a shortcut, takes an average of 4 or 5 seconds, and that's if you're familiar with the menus in your software. Using the regular mouse that came with your computer to navigate around your editing software can be painfully slow. For example, let's see how long it takes to add a marker in Final Cut. First you've got to move up to the menu bar, you've got to click on Mark, then you've got to move down and find markers, and then you've got to move across and click Add. Now all that just took three or four seconds, which may not seem long, but when you're doing that two or three hundred times a day during the day's edit, that time soon adds up. A job that would take four days in this way using the mouse would only take three days using the shortcuts on a Shuttle Pro, for example. So with the day you save, you can either go off and enjoy yourself, or you could be doing another job for another client. Either way, the Shuttle Pro will either save you time or make you money. So the Contour Design Shuttle Pro version 2 comes in this box and what you'll find inside the box is this quick installation setup guide for both Macintosh and PC which clearly shows you how to set up the software and get going with the Shuttle Pro. Also in the box we have the software on the CD along with this sticker pack. Now this sticker pack contains all the popular keyboard shortcuts for modern video editing applications for play, stop, reverse, mark in and out points, cut, copy, paste, etc. But you've also got all these blank ones here too, so you can actually write down your own customizable ones. Now what you do is you simply peel these stickers off, remove the buttons off the Shuttle Pro version 2, put the sticker on and then replace the button. Here I've got the list of the Contour Shuttle Pro version 2 supported applications. As you can see, it's very comprehensive with lots of software from Adobe, Apple, Cakewalk, Boris, Canopus, Macromedia, Microsoft, and if we turn it over, it continues with more from Pinnacle, Sonic, Sony, Steinberg, and Ulead. And this list is being updated and added to all the time. The Shuttle Pro itself plugs into your Mac or PC via a regular USB socket. You can install the software one of two ways. You can either use the CD that came with the Shuttle Pro, or you can go to the Contour Design website and download the software from there. I would always recommend going to the Contour website and downloading the software to make sure that you've got the very latest version. So now I'm going to show you how to download, install the software and set up your Shuttle Pro. So let's start by downloading the latest version of the Shuttle Pro software. To do this, you go to the Contour Design website, which is www.contourdesign.com. Once there, click on the retail site on the right hand side and then go to the top and click on support and go along to downloads. When the download page opens up, you'll have a choice on the right hand side here for Shuttle Pro version 2 or Shuttle Express. So select Shuttle Pro version 2 and click go. When the next page opens up, you'll be presented with available download options for both Mac and PC. So you simply choose the one that you want and select the go button to the right hand side. What will happen now is the Contour Design software will download. It's about six and a half megabytes currently, so this should only take a few seconds depending on your broadband speed connection. 
Once you've downloaded the Contour Shuttle software, you go through the regular install process on your Mac or PC, which is relatively painless and easy, and it only takes a few minutes. So as you can see, the Contour Shuttle software interface is very well designed and clearly laid out and fairly self-explanatory. On the right hand side here, you choose the device you've got. We've got the Shuttle Pro version 2 here, so that's the one I'm going to select. If you had an older Shuttle Pro, you'd select that one. As you can see, it says no device found down here because that's not the device I've got plugged in. And you've also got the Shuttle Express. Now, the Shuttle Express is basically a compact version of the Shuttle Pro. And like the Shuttle Pro, the Shuttle Express is also available in black and silver finishes. It basically only has five programmable buttons as opposed to 15, but the Shuttle Express is less than half the price of the Shuttle Pro. So we're going to leave this on Shuttle Pro version 2. Now over on the left hand side here under application settings, the default is global settings and if you leave it on this, you can use the Shuttle Pro version 2 for pretty much any application, including browsing the web. So for example, I'm using the Apple Mac here, so I could use this on Safari and by default, the Jog Shuttle wheel here will scroll through the pages. If you're on a PC, you might be using Internet Explorer or Firefox. Now, if you click on this button, you've got all your presets. Now, I'm using Apple's Final Cut Pro, so I'm going to basically select Final Cut Pro 7. Now, over on the right hand side, it will tell you what all the presets are. Now, I think the guys at Contour Design have done a fantastic job of setting this up because all the defaults they have in here are absolutely perfect. And I found that I didn't have to customize or change anything. So for example, on here, you can click on button one and it will basically tell you what the keystroke is and give you the comment underneath. If we go down to button six, for example, it will tell you that it's a type keystroke. The letter is J and the comment tells you that it will reverse the clip. Button 7, for example, is a K keystroke to stop. Button 8 is an L keystroke for forward. If I go down to button 12, for example, it will tell you that the type keystroke is Command Z and the comment is undo, meaning that that's what it will do. So as you can see, it's very easy to customize and it's very simply laid out. So now I'm just going to go into Final Cut Pro 7 and show you the Shuttle Pro in action. So as you can see, I'm here on the timeline in Final Cut Pro and by using the Shuttle Pro version 2's Jog Shuttle wheel controls, I can navigate and move around the timeline. By using the inner wheel, I can navigate forward and backwards one frame at a time, or by using the outer wheel, which has got end stops and is spring loaded, I can navigate much faster. The further to the right I turn it, the faster it will navigate. So that's the Contour Design Shuttle Pro version 2. You can find out more details about this product at their website at www.contourdesign.com or their sister website, which is www.doyoushuttle.com. I'm Nigel Cooper. Thank you for watching.